Crime 9 News has sent me to a very ancient city. It's called Kyoto, Japan. In fact, they're about to celebrate their 1200th anniversary. I'm here with a group called the Global Forum of Spiritual and Parliamentary Leaders, and with them are scientists from around the world and journalists and artists. Now, they're here to deal with, not just talk about, a problem that's much more ancient than this city, and that's the problem of our environmental future. Mikhail Gorbachev is here to launch something called the International Green Cross. Think about it in terms of our Red Cross, a group that's designed to respond to human tragedy on a global basis. The Green Cross will do the same thing for the environment. Who doesn't remember the Exxon Valdez? Two billion dollars and the best technology known to man was rushed to the scene. That was four years ago. Well, how about the Shetland Island oil spill? That was just four months ago. Twice as much oil was spilled, and we don't hear about it. Well, the International Green Cross intends to level the playing field. Although Mikhail Gorbachev recently presided over a series of Soviet environmental disasters, he's optimistic about his leadership of the Green Cross program. <laughs> but it's true that in my country, I did face some uh, very grave challenges. And uh, this is what shaped my position at that time, and that's why when I was president, I spoke to the Global Forum and expressed my views about the environment and also the United Nations. This uh, also affected my decision about becoming accepting the invitation to become president of the International Green Cross. I really think that we are uh, at the threshold of a very difficult test for the whole of mankind. We must change the nature of our industrial activity. We must also adapt our democracy to the solution of these problems. We must uh, do a great deal in order to prevent irreversibility of the environmental problems. I must tell you how optimistic I am as Mikhail Gorbachev shifts from perestroika to the problems of pollution. I found him utterly sincere and capable of leading the first truly international environmental program. 